car stopped with uh, two females. They both have prostitution priors, and one of the females is only 18, and she's been ordered off the strip. So we're going to run up here and back him up and see what he's got. One of the major problems we have is uh, so many calls seem to link back to prostitution and pimping activity. And, you know, the city, with all the money and the tourists, attracts a lot of different people, and they all seem to have an interest in uh, prostitution or, uh, you know, the topless clubs and... And it's not legal to engage in prostitution in Clark County, Nevada. But I bet you 80% of the people that come here think that it is. I stopped them because they have those blue lights that spin in the rims and on the hood. And by Nevada law, you can't have blue or red lights on your car. Uh, she seems a little upset in the passenger side, so I wanted to wait for you, get them out, talk to them, find out what's going on. And they're denying, they're saying they're coming here to party and drink, but we know at 3 o'clock in the morning prize for prostitution right. coming to one of these hotels two girls two girls all right let's get the passenger out first let's get her out first. hi are you tiffany how old are you 18 you can't go to clubs until you're 21 right all right come on okay i need to talk to you hop out okay. of the car thank you stand in front of my car stand right up here whose car is this ma'am Excuse me, this is, this is my friend's car. Okay. Are you Ashley? Come here and talk to me. Okay. This is a car that you're borrowing from a friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're 22? I'm 21. 21. Mm -hmm. Where you guys been tonight? Actually, I've been home up until I just met up with her to go pick her up to bring her back to my house. And that's okay, where was she? Where did you pick her up? I picked her up all the way, uh, I'm trying to remember where I picked her up from. It was a little bit down the street. Walking? No, Treasure Island I picked her up from. Okay. I picked her up from the fourth You know how old she is? No, she's 18. Okay. You got any alcohol, anything illegal in your car? Um, no. All right. No, no, no. If you're ever in a club with somebody that's under 21, okay. or you're in a casino where you have to be 21 to be in a casino, and that is a charge in Nevada and everywhere else that I know of. The other problem is she's got priors for prostitution. She's ordered off the strip. You may or may not know that. I don't but know you are that. transporting her, okay? And one of the felony crimes that Nevada has with regard to prostitution is furnishing transportation to a prostitute. Okay, and I understand you've been arrested in the past. I don't I know if you got any convictions. I don't, I don't do anything. Have you ever anymore. been convicted of um, prostitution-related charges? I don't know. Everything I've had has been down to loitering, so I don't. Okay, really well, that's that ends up being a conviction. Just like when you pay a traffic ticket. Okay. So here's the deal: you have to make decisions on whether you're going to transport somebody that's got priors for prostitution. Okay, I just didn't know that it was illegal because I thought since she's 18. She well, was if the party. owner of the car was here and he was transporting the two of you. We'd be asking him if he knows where you work, how, how long he's known you, if he knows what you do for a living. Well, we've been together for four years. Oh, it's your boyfriend? Yeah. I want to ask you your name. You were a little evasive. I don't have an ID. Were you afraid that you knew I was going to find out what you were arrested for? Is that... Yeah. So you would see the charges. Where were you coming from? Treasure Island. I can't hear you. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. How did you get to Treasure Island? I had somebody drop me off. Who dropped you off at Treasure Island? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend or your pimp? Be honest. The second one. The, your pimp? Yeah. Okay, so what is it that, you know, seemed like a nice girl. I, I don't know what happened. Something obviously went wrong in South somewhere along the line. I don't know if you dropped out of school, but what is it that made you listen to this guy and say, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to walk the track out here, break lock, and, you know, and go out here and have sex for money? Because I got kicked out at 16 from my house, and dropped out of school and had to make a living and Why'd you get nobody kicked out? would help me. My parents were very religious and I wasn't and because I wouldn't follow their set of rules. They didn't like it. I mean, do you like this lifestyle? How long have you been out here? I had just gotten dropped off. Right. You ever have any fights with your pimp or anything? Has he ever threatened you? I've gotten hit a couple of times. You got, you've gotten hit by your pimp? And tased with a taser gun. By him? Yeah. I mean, think about it. You're 18. Imagine 10 years from now. You afraid you're gonna end up dead? Hurt? You don't think about that. You put it in the back of your head. You don't think about that when you come out here. You can't. Otherwise, it will happen to you. Right. Well, like I explained to you, you have the uh, you have the vice order out. No exceptions mean you can't be anywhere uh, anywhere on the entire Las Vegas Boulevard because you're involved in prostitution. You understand that, right? So based on those facts, you're going to go to jail tonight. It's a misdemeanor. And you'll probably be out tomorrow or the next day. Is it O-R-able? Is it O-R-able? Own recognizance. No. I don't think so. Not the vice order no, out. Not an order out. So I have to get bailed out. You have to get bailed out, but you'll be there at least till tomorrow. Turn around for me real quick. It's unfortunate, but...
you know, you might not think so, but in a way, I, I almost think this protects you from being out there getting hurt or something with your pimp or this other girl who's definitely not a good influence. So you're going to go to jail for that. And uh, I hope I don't see you out here again. I hope you get your uh, act together and clean it up. Maybe get back with your family. Watch your head, all right? What's going through your mind right now? I don't like doing this. I mean, like, I know to an extent it's by choice, but you get so far into it that you don't know how to get out of it. No, no other cousins or anything like that? I don't have family to take care of. This isn't personal. I mean, I feel bad for you. I generally feel bad for you. And I wish we could do something to prevent you, but unfortunately, uh, I don't have the resources right now to do that. So you're going to have to find that willpower and that inner strength to uh, So I'm getting out of this, and I'm going to move on. All right, but tonight you're going to be going down to Clark County Detention Center for the uh, order out. And that's it. Best of luck to you, okay? Okay, your friend's been arrested for soliciting charges in the past. She's on an order out. Okay, that's a violation of the law. She's going to go to jail for that. She's 18. You both have the same types of priors. Yours are further back than hers, okay? So be aware of that, because in the future you could get arrested for transporting a prostitute. You could be arrested for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. All right? All right. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. 